Hello, students! Welcome back again! Uh, today we'll be talking about the second half of Section 2 of Chapter 2, uh, talking about acids and bases. A real quick video tonight, uh, so I think it was like a little early Christmas present. Uh, by the end of this video, you should be able to explain uh, what acidic and basic solutions are, and be able to explain how the pH scale plays a role in maintaining homeostasis. Um, you should also know all these key terms by the end. So if you want to take a screenshot, go ahead, and we'll get started here with acids and bases. All right, so the first thing to understand acids and bases, we got to talk about the pH scale. And to talk about the pH scale, we have to understand where it comes from. So when we look at a water molecule, a little bit of review from last video, right? we have the formula H2O, so two hydrogens, one oxygen, all right? And if we remember, um, there's covalent bonds, so this oxygen right here is sharing an electron with this hydrogen. If you notice, these electrons right here, this orbit comes in the middle and it's shared with oxygen. And just like we said, right, that will give us a slightly negative charge on oxygen, slightly positive charges on the hydrogen. If you remember from last video, this is called polarity, right? Water is a polar molecule. Um, so moving on from that, right, we know that even though it's neutral every once in a while, not every once in a while, they all have slightly uneven charges. Um, and when water naturally occurs in nature, whether it's in your bathtub, in a pond, in a lake, even if it's in a solution with other chemicals, naturally, every once in a while, um, water will split into two different molecules, okay? Uh, and we think of it as splitting like this, a line down the middle here. And if we take this hydrogen away, we're left with two molecules, okay? Uh, and as we see down here, we have H2O again. We split this one bond between, this is this right here. We split it between oxygen and hydrogen. And what we have left is an H plus and an OH minus, right? If we look here, right, this H plus leaves. It's a plus because it got rid of one of its electrons. And this OH minus, right, OH, oxygen, hydrogen, is a negative because it has this extra electron um, from the original water molecule when it's H2O. All right, so when ions, then this, again, this happens naturally in water. We may have a billion molecules of water in one cup. Um, and this is happening all the time, right? We form random ones. This goes back and forth. A water molecule will split into an H plus and an OH minus, and then it may randomly go back the other way. Okay. Now, understanding how water molecules move back and forth from being completely neutral like they were to having these ions, right, an H plus and an OH minus, is crucial to understanding the pH scale because this H plus and this OH minus is responsible for what measures something that's an acid or a base. Okay. So, in summary, the pH scale measures the concentration of H plus or OH minus ions in water or in a solution. And again, they're measured on the pH scale. Okay, so the pH scale, hopefully you've heard of it before. Like we said, it measures the concentration of H plus and OH minus um, in water or in a solution. It ranges from zero to 14. Okay, so since it goes from 0 to 14, 7 is in the middle. So 7, the number 7, is said to have had a neutral pH. Anything from 0 to 7, okay, is an acid. And anything from 7 through 14, okay, is a base. Um, if we look at some of the things here from 0 to 7, we see hydrochloric acid, lemon juice, vinegar, tomatoes, bananas. At 7, right, where it's neutral, it's not really an acid, not really a base, we see milk, blood, and water, right, things that are in our bodies uh, quite substantially, so we have a pretty neutral pH as humans. And then as we move more basic, all right, we see we have things like baking soda, ammonia, soap, and different types of cleaners. All right, so... 0 to 7 is an acid, and 7 to 14 is a base. So we said, right, the pH scale measures 
concentration of H plus and OH minus. All right, so anything from zero to seven, we said, was an acid, okay? And in anything that's an acid is anything that has a high concentration of H plus, or those positive hydrogen ions, okay? So acids are any compounds that form those H plus ions in solution. And like we said, some of these acids are like battery acids, um, your soda that you drink at lunchtime, and the calf is very acidic, and vinegar, all right? The things that make these acids powerful are these H plus ions. Um, and we've always heard of acids being really dangerous, sulfuric acid, hydrochloric acid, you hear of acid rain, right? The reason this is so dangerous is because we have these H plus ions, and this H plus doesn't like to be positive. He wants to gain another electron. So that hydrogen plus is going to bond with something really quick. Uh, and that's why when you spill acid on yourself, you get burned, right? It's reacting with your skin, basically stealing electrons from your skin. Um, when we look at bases, okay, so since an acid was anything with an H plus concentration, the other half of that would be a base, okay? And a base is any compound that produces an OH minus ion, that other half. Um, and another word for OH minus is called a hydroxide, okay? So bases are when there's a lot more OH minus, not the H plus. Some of the different bases we see are bleach. Um, lots of your typical cleaners are bases. We see like Drano, drain cleaner. Uh, soap is basic. Ammonia is basic, okay? All these solutions have a high concentration of hydroxide, OH minus. Um, now, everyone, it's pretty common knowledge that acids are very dangerous, uh, but what most people don't know is that bases are just as dangerous, right? If you were to gallon, swallow a gallon of this bleach, um, you would die. Uh, you would disrupt homeostasis. It would start burning your insides, okay? Just like that H plus in the acids were looking for electrons, these OH minuses are looking to get rid of that electron to bond with something to become neutral. So remember, bases are just as dangerous as acids. All right, so since acids and bases are both very dangerous, okay, they're both half a water molecule, um, we need to be able to control these, okay? Maintaining a stable pH is crucial to maintaining homeostasis. If you start to become slightly acidic, your cells are start, going to start to die, your proteins in your cells will be deformed, and you can't do basic functions that require homeostasis. Um, and to maintain homeostasis, we can use something that's called a buffer. Okay. Now, a buffer is a weak acid or base that neutralizes any strong acid or base, okay? So the way this works is if you were to drink something that's very, very acidic, okay, your body would secrete a natural basic buffer, all right? So say you drank some of uh, vinegar, which has a pH of 3, okay, has a pH of 3. Remember, acids go from 0 to 7 as anything acidic. Um, that's not going to be for your body. So your body will secrete a buffer or a very weak base, something around an 8, to help neutralize um, that pH of 3 in vinegar. Okay. Uh, we also use buffers in chemical reactions. Uh, when you go to chemistry or chemistry in college, if you do chemical reactions with some strong acids to make sure, or bases, to make sure that the reaction goes smoothly um, and you don't lose all your product, you might use a buffer in the solution. So you might have a really strong acid in the solution and you might put a little bit of buffer in there just to make sure it doesn't get too crazy. Okay. Um, so f another example of how we use buffers in us, right, is in our stomach. Most of you should know your stomach is very acidic and that's why when you don't feel upset and you toss your cookies, your mouth starts to burn, right, from all that hydrochloric acid your stomach produces to digest food. Um, the reason your the acid in your stomach doesn't burn through and leak out to the rest of your body is that it has a mucus layer, all right? This would be the inside of the stomach in here. These are our stomach cells. And these cells secrete a little mucus, um, usually sodium bicarbonate, okay? And this uh, sodium bicarbonate or any type of these carbonates right here that are secreted are buffers, okay? They're weak acids and bases, or a weak base, that reacts with acid in your stomach to neutralize it, okay? 
Um, so a lot of stuff pretty quickly in this video. I would definitely go back, watch it two or three times. Um, just remember, right, acids and bases occur naturally in everything. When a water molecule splits, which happens all the time, you're going to get an H plus and a hydroxide, an OH minus. And these are the acids, and the hydroxides are the bases. Other than that, know those key terms. Go back, watch it a couple times. Uh, if you have any questions, tweet me at Mr. Toda13, or you can shoot me an email. Hope you guys have a great night, and see you tomorrow.